get going Gotta catch those runners taking off like a Boeing If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus It's all about the price, just watch it move Manage your risks so you don't lose First hour of trading is all we need Focus on the patience and forget about greed What is up, everyone? Happy Monday, October 21st, 2024. Markets down just a little bit. They were down a lot more, but they've been coming up for about the last uh, hour and a half. VIX is up. 18.97. Most everything's been in the red this morning, but Netflix, NVIDIA, Boeing flipped green. Some other stocks have gone to up, come up to where they're flat. So have to see what the market does this morning when it opens on a Monday. Everybody had a good weekend. One DTE will be in play for me today with the VIX being up. If you want to know more about my one DTE, it's in the trade plans channel video. Morning, Ken. Morning, JG. Morning, El Piero. And there is the bell. S&P opens down eight. NASDAQ flat. Dow opens up down 35. All right. Bear with me here. I'm going to be silent for a bit while I'm looking at my one DTE. Wow, pretty slim premiums on the old one DTE. Wow. Not place an order yet here. I'm just kind of looking at the premiums. Yeah. 
we go. Filled at seven dollars on the ninety fives, twenty fives. So I'll post that. I put in my OCO order now. All right, good to go. I'll right, be getting a new bar here in just a minute. All right, so looking for some volume runners now. Morning, Chris. Pretty thin premiums. Pretty thin. All right, gonna look for some growing bars. Looks like Nvidia is getting a a bar that's gonna get there. Coinbase growing a little bit here to the downside.
So today we trade the four days to expiration for DTE. And NVIDIA, I would trade the 141 calls. See if I can get filled at 240. Right around there. Filled at 240. And NVIDIA on this... It's going to be anticipate being an upside volume runner. Get out of half at 265. Coinbase has a downside volume runner. So watch coin, make sure, see if it bounces here. See coin, I would trade the... 207.5 puts. I'm trying to get fill at 650. Yeah, it's a nickel away from getting in at coin. It's coming back down now, so. See if it can pop back up and hit me. So I'm short NVIDIA, I'm sorry, long NVIDIA and short Coinbase. There's a fill in coin, 650. So I would co close half my coin at 715.
Got an order at uh, two sixty five in Nvidia and seven fifteen in Coin. Go to 267 to close half my NVIDIA. I would close another NVIDIA at 290. In the mighty nineties yet. Need a rollover in coin. Nvidia trying to get the highs of day. <clears throat> Now it's about a nickel away from hitting another profit target on NVIDIA, and then it came came down. Oh, we've got them both going in the wrong directions here. We need coin to roll over and NVIDIA to pop back up. Apple coming up to highs of day. Tesla trying to come up to highs of day. S&P up to highs of day. No other opportunities, though. One DT is up about 10% already. All right, so Coinbase popping up. Let me go ahead and put it. I need to put Coinbase on my screen here.
So if you're new and you're just learning, I'll show you what a failed volume runner looks like. So in a volume runner here, this is where price started, where that big bar was. So if price gets this price gets above right here, that's your exit point. So need it to get forced back down right here. S&P just popped up to highs of day. Nvidia trying to get back up there. Uh, Meta getting a potential mighty ninety here with this. It's yeah, no, it's got to be more volume separation and a better price push. All right, so watching coin, it's got to roll over here. I'm I'm exiting. Need a rollover from coin. Tesla had a push down and now it's just gone straight back up to where it opened. Right, exiting coin. Oh wait. Just as I was getting ready to put my order in, I looked and see that it's turned to red now. All right, so let's give it a sec. Get my finger on the trigger here. Sitting at about five forty five, five dollars and forty five cents right now. So, see, it's right on that. It's right on the line to be cut. That's how you. That's your exit for a volume runner. If you're short, and it gets back above right there. So hopefully it rolls over here. Build an NVIDIA at 297 to close another. So closing coin. Build at 545 to close coin. 
So like that's kind of a bummer in coin. Gonna have another NVIDIA at 330. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I just noticed coin rolled right back over after it pushed up. Gosh dang it. Taking coin off my screen. <laughs> what a bummer. I mean, everything was pushing up. S&P pushed through highs. NVIDIA had pushed up to all-time highs. I saw the coin bar going green and pushing above the exit. So I just looked over at my other computer and closed it and looked back and it had rolled over. What do you do? What do you do? Yeah, it happens. So I'm just going to flush it and move on. I do with a little bit of a mighty 90. It's not the best volume separation, but. Technically, it is a mighty 90. So, NVIDIA coming up to all time highs in this pivot here. So, I'd like to see it push through the pivot. Starts chopping. I may just cut. I may just close it and take my profits. That Nvidia and Coinbase so far have been about a. They pretty much canceled each other out. Now Coinbase popped back up, so that makes me feel better. Tesla came up to Friday's low here. It looks like it wants to go higher. Might get in a little upside continuation here. It pushed down, now it's popped up. If it consolidates here, it might be a good spot to get to get long. I'm gonna see what the next couple bars do, maybe. Yeah, good out and coin. There it goes. Now it definitely broke through. <clears throat> S&P with its first decent red bar. Tesla not pulling back in this when in this in this drop here. So I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at getting long in Tesla here. Maybe a little earlier than I anticipated. Um, Two twenty calls in Tesla. Okay, actually, let's uh, let's wait a second. How much time is left on this bar? Another minute. I'm going to jump in right here at seven bucks. See if I can get filled at seven bucks. Yep, filled at seven bucks. So now I want Tesla to not, I don't want, so my exit could be a quick exit. 
if it comes down below right here. I mean, maybe it can dip its toe down, but then I want to see it bounce. I would close half my Tesla at 770. AMD pushing through highs of day. No mighty 90 in Apple. No, no mighty 90 long in Amazon. Nothing really. Um, there's nothing really. Um, no good signals at the moment. See, I mentioned NVIDIA is coming up to this pivot. So if you can't break through it here, let me just take my profits. Coinbase still going up, so good exit. trading during the election um for what strategies uh, to be honest with you i don't really remember Let's see four years ago i my memory isn't that good i mean i think you just trade what's going on at the time i mean i don't know that there's similarities or differences. I've never really done any research on election price movement. Plus, like, the zero DT wasn't back then. They didn't even have it back then. Um, wasn't trading one DT back then. Wasn't trading Wooga. Uh, was trading these strategies, but these are like, you know, 15, 20, 30 minute trades. So I don't really have any. knowledge of what was going on at the time during election. Um, I can't, I mean, probably I, I mean, I've been trading since 2017. So I, I, I mean, I'm a vastly different trader right now than I was in 2020 election time. So, Tesla trying to push up now. You see Tesla though, it's got it's got a pretty tight range, and that's why it looks like a pretty good bar. 
but no 10% yet. Up about 14% of my one DTE. Build at 770 in Tesla. To close half. Close another 840. Nothing else really shaking. No really good looking mighty 90s or anything yet. So NVIDIA is still kind of just consolidating here. Goo going through highs of day. S&P pushing up to highs of day. Holy moly, zero DTE SPX options are and you can get twenty five wide is all. <laughs> wow. That's easy what we get when there's the VIX is at like eleven. I have six NVIDIAs left. NASDAQ just rocking it up through highs of day. S&P up to highs of day. Uh, 14, El Piero. Yeah, 10 would have put me at 2,400 of buying power, which I usually go about three grand. We're roughly around there. Uh, 
So it was about 3,300 of buying power. Good potential mighty 90 short, but so much time left. But it is getting a little, it's getting a nice little price push. So Yeah, so it's going to get a little mighty 90 here with this price push. So I'm going to look at shorting Goog. 165 puts. Our position size to add. Fill it at $1.13. And I would close half of my Goog at a dollar twenty five. Vic's really coming down. Steve's done already. Looks like Coin got him as well. What has he got on NVIDIA already? He must have something he's got going on. Tesla is still consolidating, so I'm just gonna, just gonna hold it. Tesla breaks down through yesterday's Friday's low. I'll, I'll get out of it. But man, the old zero DTE premiums. Pretty tight. I don't like that. I mean, you get 25 wide with an 18-point expected move. Yeah, that's not very good. That is no bueno. I wonder if anyone's ever traded the one DT like I trade the TLC process. You're giving us a real, trying to give us one red bar here. I 
Go to the dollar twenty five and goog. I'd get out of another goog at a dollar thirty five. S and P back up through highs of day. All right, so we got one red bar out of Goog. Need one more. My one DT is up seventeen percent. S and P up the highs of day again. NVIDIA, new all-time highs. Ah, stock's in the red, though. See, NVIDIA hit all-time highs, but it's it's not even close to being up, up to 770 where I've already got now. That tells you theta decay is hurting us. Yeah, when the VIX goes down, chess master, it helps. That's that's what helps theta decay. That's that's why we're getting theta decay here. It's also hurting hurting my Nvidia position. New all-time highs in video and see it's trading at 747, 750. I've already gotten out. I'm sorry, it's Tesla. My bad. I spoke I spoke wrong there. NVIDIA, I've got an order at 330. It's currently at about 320. So it is getting close to that next profit target. Man, S&P just straight up since about 7 a.m. Central. So Goog right back up to where I got in. I don't even look at the rut chess master when I'm trading these strategies. I I gotta be focused on on uh, trying to trade these strategies when I'm leading the live stream here. So I I'm not even I mean S S and P Nasdaq I have up, but I don't really ever look at the Russell when I'm trading these strategies.
Tesla has not broken through that consolidation yet. NASDAQ pushing up. Nvidia debating on whether keeping it, keeping it, or, or cutting it, and just taking my profits. It's hit all time highs a couple times here. It's like at some point you figure it's going to pull back. It could very well just keep pushing, but I also don't want to lose out on profits. No two consecutive red bars out of Goog yet. Tesla still looks like, I mean, it looks like it wants to go higher here. It's just this really nice consolidation. Goog kind of looks like it wants to just keep taking off too. Hopefully Goog just can't get through that pivot. Yeah, I... I kind of thought I might be losing profits if I held NVIDIA longer. I'll let the spar finish. Mm. Should have went with my gut. Closed NVIDIA. It had just hit all-time highs again for like, I don't know, the third time today. So 
Go to 276 to close NVIDIA. So lost a few hundred bucks there, not closing it when I had the gut feeling to close it. Still a winner. And it may still just fire right back up. One DTE up 20%. You see a bounce out of Tesla here. I'm cl closing it as well. Roku falling. My call side, long call in my 1DTE is only worth five cents. On the 1DTE, that's pretty abnormal. <clears throat> so got to keep an eye on it because the, the whole, I manage the whole iron condor with my 1DTE. So if it gets to where it's worthless, it won't get filled and hit my profit target. So I'll just have to then close the shorts and then close the long, you know, half the long puts. So Goog trying to give us a second red bar, which I would exit. Well, if you don't, if your long call doesn't have a, a price, then you're not going to get filled. So, like your iron condor won't get filled if it if your long call doesn't have a if it doesn't have a if it's expired or if it's I'm sorry if it's worthless. It's it's not about protect protection. It's like your trade won't close if one of your legs isn't worth anything. Some some people are like, yeah, I couldn't get my iron condor, couldn't get filled. Well, it's because one of your legs was worth, not worth anything.
S and P coming all the way back down to close to where it opened. Wow. Tesla, if it breaks through Friday's low, then I'll close it. Goog. I'm going to go ahead and close it. It has given me two consecutive red bars. Build a dollar eighteen to close Goog on that mighty ninety. And Tesla. It's touching yes to Friday's low at the moment. Don't want it to break through their Amazon, just trucking higher. All right, well, no more trades for me on these strategies. It's 930 Central, so you don't trade these after that. So the only thing I have left is Tesla, and here's how I'll handle that. If it breaks through yesterday's or Friday's low, I will close it. Otherwise, I will continue to let it go up and scale out. So that's what I'm going to do there. And I will see everybody back during Power Hour. Have a good one. Peace.